Hello, this is Michael Rashad. In this short presentation, we're going to talk about the real differences between a spreadsheet and a database. Now, in a spreadsheet, there is no relationship established between the different sheets. You can create relationships and you can relate different sheets and attach formulas to do that. But there's no commonality. So, if we take our product list here and we want to put this particular product onto a quote or an order, what we have to do is we have to select it, copy it, and paste it into another document, which means we've just duplicated the data. And because every time we do that is on a separate document, there's no way of pulling all that information together. And this is a fundamental flaw with spreadsheets, that you have a multiplicity of documents, sometimes thousands of them. They've all got to be filed and categorized properly in order that you can actually find them. But also, there's no way of using the information in there because you've just got it everywhere. So here we are in the database, and we're looking at a quote that we put together. And as you can see, there's quite a number of items, quite a number of products. Now, the difference here is that all of our products are stored in the products table, and we've got several, we've got 4,686 of them. And each of these products has what's called a primary key, which is an absolutely unique ID, which is assigned to the product, to the record, as it is created. And when we use a product, when we add a product to a quote or an invoice, or use it anywhere, all we're actually entering into that other record is the primary key, which establishes the relationship from that point back to the product to display the product information. Now, yes, on a quote or invoice, it will copy the current price into the quote or invoice because that price needs to be fixed at that time and not be changed if at some point the price changes. But remember, all we're storing in other tables is the product ID. And this allows us to be able to have the program keep track of the usage of each individual product, both in terms of number of times it's been sold or used and the total value of those orders. So let's go back to our quote. Now in the quote itself, we've got the company. And if we click here, we can edit that information. But we're not storing this information in the quote. It's in the company's table and all we've entered into the quote is the primary key for the company, which means that when we edit this information, we're updating it where it displays on the quote or the invoice, but we're also updating the, the basic information. So there's no typing involved except to edit. And when you edit it, you're editing in one place and it's flowing through everywhere else that it's needed. So this is a true difference. And also within the database, all of our quotes, all of our orders, all of our products, all of our customers, they're all stored within one central file and they're all talking to one another via those relationships. And we click on add items and we select an item here and click on it. As I mentioned before, all we're actually entering is the primary key, one single short field of information. So there's no duplication of data anywhere. And once you've entered a product or a person, you never have to enter them, type them in again twice. Whereas within a spreadsheet, you are constantly typing, constantly copying and pasting. And that's a major disadvantage. This is Michael Rashad. I hope you found this interesting. Bye-bye.